this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's a lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver. Good morning, oh creeper and something. Oh, Polly, there's a creeper. There's a creeper. Oh, I don't. I don't have my bow. I don't have my bow. Um, William, would you mind? Um, assisting <laughs> Polly. And oh, fizzy. Oh, careful, fizzy. Careful, fizzy. Oh, don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. I feel so helpless just watching far away. Oh. Oh, it so nearly blew up then. I think Fizz I think Fizzy was attacking it with a cookie. I think the mixture of cookie, snowballs, and William's diamond sword was enough of a combination <laughs> to take out the creeper. Well done, guys. <sighs> anyway, good morning. Haven't even haven't even had my breakfast yet, and the chickens got loose. You you go back to your your home on the uh, the balcony, Esther. <laughs> right then, let's go and uh, eat my uh, my breakfast. Then shall I? Nom 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 nom. Very tasty, Barnaby, you can stand up and join me. I will deliver you to the doghouse in just one moment. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go and uh, add someone to the uh, the love garden before we uh, begin. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is trying to get through this door, which I just about managed to, to do. Uh, and then we are going to be uh, hopefully finishing off my swoop mini game in my fun land. Uh, but first, uh, from one fun word to say to another, uh, I'm going to be adding Amy A. Amy uh, to my love garden. And that's because uh, they did this really unique version of Stampy Cat. And it almost looks like it's me sitting on like a fishy wallpaper while eating a fish. And I think it just really stands out because I'm not wearing orange. And it's very weird to see me in a drawing not wearing orange. Uh, but I really love the, the stars. So thank you so much for that, Amy. And welcome to my love garden. Uh, right then, uh, Barnaby will be dropped off at the the, uh, the dog house. I will choose a, another dog to, to join us as we have a, uh, a little smiley face. A little hint uh, of some of the uh, the precious materials we're going to, to be building out of uh, for the uh, the remainder of this uh, this swoop mini game. And uh, yeah, I will be joined by uh, Benji is going to be joining us today, who has been selected by all of my helpers. So, alright then, last time we flew there uh, but I want to get there quick because I want to get building. So we're going to go in the you but their teleporter today uh, to be able to get straight to where we're building because luckily uh, we do have another teleporter right next to, to where we're building it so let's go inside let's go shut the door press the button and teleport off to the fun land okay i think i should have arrived by now so let's go and uh, leave the uh, the teleporter and yeah this is what we were building in the last episode oh yeah i made some changes i made some changes so <laughs> at the very end of the last episode i started like building a pattern on the floor but you could might have told like could have told if you watched the video that my heart just wasn't really in it i just wasn't really happy with the design it was a bit complicated so tell you what let's go let's go up to the uh, the top of the the tower that we built in the last episode because that's like the only way to to properly see it and let's put my elytra on just so I don't have any accidents. And uh, yeah, I made the pattern like, it kind of looks fancy, but it's actually like really, really simple to, to do. So we did the stripes and then I kind of just did like, uh, like kind of like black line diamonds and then kind of did just like a cross pattern. And it just happened to like fit in perfectly that you could have three in a row. And I think it looks better. It like, also doesn't make you like, feel sick like as you're as you're looking at it uh, as well at the the same time so yeah that's the pattern if i just look at it like this if you do want to do a similar pattern you can uh you can copy this uh just from the, uh, this view if you would uh, would like to but yeah pretty simple and feel free to to do your uh, your own pattern so anyway let me go and glide oh glide glide <laughs> oh no no <laughs> why didn't why didn't I fly? I think I started flying and then I stopped flying again and now I've gone all the way back home. Oh, because I didn't set my spawn again, did I? I didn't set my <laughs> spawn. Oh, luckily I don't think I had too many levels, so it's not too bad. And the fact that I have the uh, the teleporter, I will be able to to get back there in a, in a moment. Maybe this is just a little a little preview of what it's going to be like playing the the game. I think I'm going to permanently leave the beds next to the game so we will set our spawn because hey accidents will happen playing the dangerous game of swoop right then once again let's go with the you but their teleporter and head back to the fun land okay i think i should be back at the uh the fun land uh, again right i'm gonna remember to sleep when it becomes night because otherwise that's gonna happen again or maybe i should just stay a little bit lower hi guys hi guys it's funny because i was talking to the helpers before we started and i was like i've given you buckets of water just in case we have any accidents like we did in the last episode and then we get here and there's already already a workplace accident <laughs> building in the uh, the fun land but hey if there's gonna be an accident it would be building this game out of all of the uh the different games my number two 
two feather falling brand new stampy style boots weren't enough to, to save me. Anyway, uh, let's go start building. So yeah, we're going to be building out of glass. So we're going to be building like two kind of like, um, like barriers. So there's going to be, uh, let me, let me build the, uh, the floor first. Then I'll explain a bit more. So we've got to go eight along. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in just a straight diagonal line. It's kind of hard to see where you're building it. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight. So yeah, this is going to go all the way up, 45 blocks tall. So it's actually going to be taller than the the tower. And so what this is going to be is like a uh, a wall that is going to kind of block you from just flying in a straight line. So it's going to be this like wall like here. You're going to have to glide around it. Then there's going to be another wall, but facing the uh, the other way over this way. So you then need to glide around that uh, before you land on the uh, the tower. So help us. Do you want to go and carry on uh, building up that wall? Uh, and I'm going to go and start doing some of the uh, the towers uh, that you're going to, to need to, to land on. So these are going to be the uh, the taller towers over here and these are going to be the ones you land on first before kind of turning back uh, and going uh, in the other direction again. So uh, the first one it's only going to be one block wide. So I need to give uh, two blocks and then start building this here. So yeah, as I said, it's only going to be one block wide. So this is going to be the most difficult one to, to land on. Uh, but you're going to get the most points uh, if you do land on it. And it needs, to be, um, it needs to be 25 blocks high. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then the top of the tower uh, is just going to be uh, dark blue. Uh, so all of these towers are going to be blue, but kind of like just different shades of blue, uh, just to, to mark the different ones. So you need to glide from that tower, loop around the outside of the glass, and then land here. And it's tricky. It's tricky. I had a lot of practice designing uh, this game using the Elytra. And as you can see, I'm still not a... Still Still not particularly great at it. So basically now we're going to do uh, three towers along the inside here, which are going to be the easier ones because they are going to be uh, three blocks wide. But first, uh, let me uh, let me put on my Elytra and let me see if I can actually fly this time. Am I flying? Okay, okay. It, it did engage flying. <laughs> I'm going to need to do that a few times to, to go and get back down. So uh, yeah, basically uh, from this one here, uh, we then need to leave a uh, another gap of, uh, of three. Then this is going to mark where the first tower is. We've got one, two, three, and then there's going to be a tower here like this. And this is, as I said, going to be three blocks along. We're going to leave another gap of three, and then we're going to have another tower there. I might as well kind of mark where they're all going to be and then start building them. So we've got one, two, three, and then we're going to go three like that. And then the easiest ones to land on are going to be in line uh, once again. Uh, but this time, uh, there's going to be like a, uh, a three by three square you can land on. So if I go and kind of mark where these are going to be, there's going to be one there. And then once again, in line with that one. So it will be here. And so these ones, you only get one single point if you land on them. But it's going to be much easier to land on them because they're way bigger and a little little bit closer as well and then also you then have a chance to kind of fly again back to the other side uh, to try and land on the uh, the other towers that are going to be over there so let's try and get one of these towers done before it gets dark and then i'm going to to sleep because i'm scared i'm going to have a uh, <laughs> another accident uh, so this was going to be slightly lower this was going to be 22 blocks high so we got one uh then this is going to be two three four Ooh. <laughs> One second, five, six, seven. It's hard building like three along every time I'm doing it. Eight. Uh, now I should tell you what I can do. If I just build it the same height as the other one, and then I can just add the extra blocks, because it only needs to be like, what, like three blocks lower? So if I kind of just see where this other one is, then that's going to save me just having to like spend the next five minutes trying to, to count up for these towers. I think I'll do one of the, each of these towers here, then I'll mark out where the next glass bit will be, and then I'll kind of do the uh, the same on the other side, and then hopefully my helpers can kind of start uh, finishing it in. Because then there's going to be the one other like little mini baby tower, which I mentioned in the last episode, is going to be the difference maker, which is after you land on those towers, you get one extra chance to, to fly back, and if you land on the, uh, the golden difference maker, uh, then that means you get a one little cheeky extra bonus point which might might be enough for for you know to, to count the difference for you to get the win so yeah it needs to be three blocks under so we've got one two three so it, oh, it need to be on that level there so i need to go one down and i'm sorry i know i do have shears in my inventory but by the time it take me to get them out i'll be quicker doing it like this so yeah these ones are going to be cyan and then the uh the final rope 
It's going to be light blue down there. But yeah, we should probably all sleep now, though, guys, because the googlies are spawning everywhere, and we've already had uh, enough enough runnings with them uh, today uh, from this morning. To be fair, I'm probably more scared of, like, flying around than I am with the, the googlies after earlier. I think I was like, oh... Oh, there's monsters nearby. Oh, it's a monster. Oh, no, that's just a chicken. That's just a chicken. We're okay. I think it's all of the all of the zombies inside of the sheep pen for, for some reason. So let's see if we can take these out without hitting any of our, our wally friends. <laughs> and then we should be uh, able to, to see. Oh, are they under the ground? Is that, oh, are they under the ground down here? Right, let's see if we can. Uh, oh, 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 this is there a slime. Was that, was that the thing? Was it, was it? Oh, did a creeper just blow up? I think a creeper just blew up as well. Okay, maybe it wasn't just the the slime. Right, let's see if we can uh let's see if we can get our, our way out of here and then we can uh <laughs> we can go to bed. <laughs> yeah, it was my fault. It was my fault. I was too I was too bu busy building my little tower, well my big tower, uh to uh <laughs> to focus on all of the uh, the googly spawning. So yeah, I go and get the um one more tower built on uh, on that side, and then I can mark where the the glass will be. But yeah, hopefully you're getting an idea of uh, of just how big <laughs> all of these giant walls will be. And you know what? They didn't need to be. So when I originally designed it. These were, there was just kind of columns and then just like, like just a block at the top. But it just looks really cool, I think. It just, like, I, 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 I'm starting to care a lot more about what the mini games look like. I used to just care about like whether they're fun to play. But then I realized it just like these giant like, uh, like stacks of glass with like the different striped colors. It just looked pretty awesome. So that's the reason why we're using like so much glass to build all of this. Anyway, anyway, let's go build this, uh, this tower. So it's not going to be as high, uh, but I do need to obviously fill it in more just because it's going to be way bigger. But if you are like, lacking resources and you do want to to do your own version of this game you can just do like floating platforms in the sky would work literally just uh, as well uh, or you could do like just like a one block wide column uh kind of just holding this whole area up if you don't want to build the the whole thing up like this but i think it looks pretty cool uh, i kind of like the uh, the style of this thing and as i said it's kind of like not anything else i've built in my my fun land before so i think it uh, sort of stands out uh, in uh, in that way uh, so yeah once i've got uh, this tower done i'll mark on the the ground where the glass will be for the the next one uh, i'll add in the uh, the difference maker and then start doing um some of the the other towers like what i think would be good is if like in today i can get enough of the towers done that I can have like a proper test to go so I can go back and forth. So of course there would be three towers like this but I just want to see whether I can just land on a, on one of them. I do think it's generally easier to go for like the side ones and like and the further side one as well because you really got to balance your speed because if you turn too quickly when flying you really get slowed down. Uh, so you you kind of want to do that for when you land and then at the very last second I think the way to do it is you kind of like want to nose dive into it and then just immediately press crouch because it's very easy to like try and land on the column and then just sort of like bounce off it <laughs> and then just go and like bang into into something else so I think if you immediately press crouch that's kind of the uh, the the safest way to kind of stop and uh, have a, a good landing on the, the tower so uh, right this one needs to be 19 blocks high so once again we need to be three blocks under so we've got one two three and then it should be on this level so yeah the level i am on now so let's go and uh, build this down here and so this is just going to mark that this is the one that you need to land on to get three points and then of course though the thing is if you land here you only get one point you're also lower to fly to the towers on the other side and you can reach it you will have like a uh, enough height to be able to reach your way there but it might be just a little bit more difficult uh, because you're flying from a little bit lower so if i kind of show you from this side you can kind of get a, a good idea of uh, of how they're um they're all going to, to be looking so uh, yeah now uh, i just need to go and uh, build in the uh, the glass from uh, from this side so I just need a one block gap here, uh, which is going to mark it here. And yeah, we basically do it the, uh, the same as it was on the, uh, the other side. So we go eight across either way. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then if I go do the, uh, the same on the, uh, the other side, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and then this one needs to go 35 blocks high, uh, which is going to be, a uh, it's going to be enough, uh, to block that all off because obviously as you're flying, you will be, uh, dropping down a little bit lower, but, uh, yeah, I'll leave that for, for my helpers for, for once they've got that glass tower done. And then, yeah, let me just try and get at least one of the, uh, the towers, uh, built down on, uh, on this side here. So, uh, first things first, uh, 
Uh, I'm going to clear up this water <laughs> because it's <laughs> it's right where I need to build, and it's going to be uh, getting in the uh, in the the way otherwise. And then this needs to be the first tower needs to be four blocks away from this glass here. So we got four blocks, and then now I'll place the first block. So we got one, two, three, four. And then this is where the uh, the tower is going to, to start. And uh, this one's only going to be eight blocks high. This is going to be uh, way low. Oh, no, sorry, it's going to be 12 blocks high, 12 blocks high. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, uh, 11. And then this one is going to be red on the uh, the, the top. And then I can kind of mark out where the other towers are going to be. These ones are going to be easier because these ones are all way lower. So there's going to be a gap of two. And then there's going to be this tower here. But unlike the other ones, they're all going to be kind of like uh, facing this way. Uh, just to make them uh, a little bit different from how they were. So these are going to be in a line there like that. And then there's going to be another gap of two blocks here. Yeah, these ones are all just a little bit closer together as well. Just because you're going to have less momentum. They're all a little bit more uh, packed in. Just to, to make sure you have a, a good chance of actually being able to, to reach them. Uh, so yeah, then we need a, a gap of two blocks. And then there's going to be another one here. Which is going to be three by three like this. And then we'll do the same on this side. Gap of two blocks. This is going to be three by three once again here so yeah i won't get the i won't have time to build all of these towers up but you can kind of get an idea of where they're going to be oh apart from this one which i built wonky let me actually get my shears out because i am making enough mistakes that it is it is worth having it here in my inventory so yeah these are all going to be built up uh, in the same way that they are there but just nowhere near as tall and then down here once again, oh sorry, oh, can you can someone move this water? It's right. I don't, I don't want to get rid of it because I don't want to, to waste for someone's bucket. But then this is where the uh, the difference maker is going to, to be. So this is going to be the uh, where the uh, the golden one is. And it's only going to be worth one point. It's not going to be worth like any any extra points or anything. Uh, but it is just going to be something that might be enough for someone to get a uh, to get a win out of. So we've got one, two, three, four, and then it is just going to be placed down there like that. Literally just two blocks off the off the the ground. So right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a test to go. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a test to go and see see how well uh, this works with the with the the way it is. So let me go and have something to eat. Go and fly up to the uh, the top, and hopefully this will be a, a more <laughs> successful flight than it was last time. At least I have set my spawn this time. So here we go. You can see how. How much more challenging it is now because if this glass wasn't here and i wanted to fly to land on those towers i could go in a like a perfect straight line so this way i need to swoop around and like dodge around both of the uh, the towers of the the glass so all right which one should i go for so i'm gonna go easy first i'm gonna go try and land on the uh, the bigger tower the one that would only get me one point just so then i know i'll hopefully at least land on it so i'm gonna go really wide because it's quite low down dive down and then crouch i did it there we go so now from here I need to fly and land on the red one, which is actually the trickiest because I'm on the lowest one here and that one's the tallest one there. It should, if I worked it out, be just about doable. So let's go to the left so I can go around here. But I'm going to have to go in a little bit tighter. Oh, no, I'm not going to reach it. I'm not going to reach it. <laughs> it, sh it should be doable. I did work it out that they should all be reachable. But of course, if I did need to change it, I could just make that one a little bit lower. Right, I'm going to have another go. I'm going to have another go. This is all of my, my cheeky practice that I'm going to get in before the uh, before the uh, the next episode. Tell you what, uh, all helpers, do you want to go as well? If everyone, you've all built well. I know we didn't get it all done, but I feel I feel bad for for hogging this. Let me try and land on this one here if I can. Oh no! Ooh, 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 I just about survived it. I just about survived it. I really wanted to go going for the difference maker, but that is really hard. Right, who wants to go? I will throw the uh, the elytra on the uh, the floor. It's okay. We will repair the elytra before the uh, before the the next go i know the uh, the glass isn't done yet but to be fair if you just go around to like on that right hand side it's kind of basically the same as it would be otherwise oh fizzy has stepped up to the uh, the plate oh he's using fireworks <laughs> hey if if you had the uh, um the intuition is that the right word to, to show up with fireworks you can use the fireworks if you if you want right i want you to land on the most difficult one fizzy you're representing the the helpers you need to land on the uh, the dark blue blue one first try and it will be a very proud day for minecraft helpers all over all over lovely world oh he's going for it he's going for oh he's, he's in the fire oh and he's off he's he's blast off into the sun oh he's coming back down very very quickly go no he's off again <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, we we could do a maybe if we have a proper tiebreaker, we'd do a bonus round, but you're allowed to use fireworks. <laughs> it really does change the game. To be fair, it really doesn't make it much easier because one of the big challenges is not coming down too fast, and the fireworks make you go very very fast, which is pretty <laughs> a bit <laughs> for the elephant. Every time he gets close, but then just misses, he just goes and zooms off again. I think he's going to be doing this all day, to be honest. <laughs> and that is why you are not allowed to use fireworks in the actual game. And oh, you were so close! You were so close to landing on the uh, the difference maker. All right, we can all we can all go and get some uh, some needed practice in before we go and play my uh, my swoop mini game in the next episode. But yeah, that is what we're going to be doing in the uh, the next episode. So if you want to see uh, what this game is going to look like fully finished. And uh, with us playing it, uh, check back next week. But for now, I want to say a big thank you to all of my helpers for helping. A big thank you to you for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!